Konti na lang naman tayo. Please, yes. Yes. Hindi na kita. May mic pa ba tayo? Ipapatok ko sa kanya. O, pass nyo na lang. Good evening, congratulations, Derek. Um, kasi before when you, when you released the film, it wasn't really part of um, any entry. Why did you decide to enter this one to Metro Manila Film Festival? Uh, actually, na nandun na yun sa usapan yung Metro Manila Film Festival eh. Sa unang-una pa lang. Uh, but we decided uh, hindi namin nasubmit siya sa, sa festival, so we decided that a standalone play date. Uh, but this time around, since we planned ahead, we've been writing the script uh, uh, two years now. Two years now, we've had several revisions. So, alam na namin talaga that come this year, we will be submitting it to the festival. And pasalamat kami na napili din kasi Di ba, ang dami nang sasubmit eh. And usually, hindi ka naman kaagad mapipili eh. Di ba? Ibig sabihin talaga, alam nilang maganda yung pelikula din. Yes? Dalay, ano yung kubo? Ano yung hindi ng kubo? Ah, okay. Um, kasi ganito yun eh. Yung, yung Aswang Chronicles, ini isa isa muna namin the more obscure as well no, we're we're keeping we're keeping the more famous kind of aswang uh, sa ibang later na kwento no? yung mga alam na natin manananggal yung mga uh, sikat na aswang uh oo -oh. for kubot we just found it really interesting actually nagpresent nagpresent pa kami ng iba ibang aswang yung usap kami kung ano ba yung itong aswang this time around No, uh, meron kaming isang tipo ng aswang na parang umbrella, no, malaki masyado yung pakpak. Uh, but we eventually decided on Kobot, mainly because of what we can showcase na bago sa aswang. Kasi di ba, sanay na tayo sa fans, sanay na tayo sa hati katawan. So what else could we show? What other facets of an aswang could we show? Uh, kubot, ang description ng kubot talaga is they ambush their victims in the middle of the road and they're usually women. So match na match sa uh, first kasi yung first, if you notice the tick tick, everyone who attack Ding Dong in the house is are, are all men. Uh, and we already knew that in the second franchise, it's mostly women who's gonna come after Dong. So, tamang-tama, yung description ng kubot na usually babae siya, they have really long hair and they look like a ball of hair in the middle of the road. I don't know if you've seen the teaser. We released the teaser. And um, how they attack their victims is their hair in circle, anong daw ko dyan? Uh, Inentwined direct. In Inentwined or parang pinapulukutan. Pinapulukutan. Yung tao, and then pag pulupot niya, they squeeze the body like toothpaste. So you can just imagine. Imagine the image. And then, kakainin nila yung lalapas sa bibi. Yun. So, uh, I think it's very interesting. Of course, minus the gore, uh, interesting pa rin siya eh, na nag-rap yung buhok sa katawan. But it's really challenging for all of us in the shoot. Kasi in as much as CG yung buhok, computer graphics yung buhok, yung actors have to wear wigs. And the wigs have to approximate the size of the computer graphics na hair. Para doon nila mailagay yung gumagalaw ng buhok. Si Elizabeth, just to give you an example, Elizabeth Oropesa had to wear a helmet. Ang helmet na kapatong doon is almost 20 kilos of hair. Oh, oh, siyempre hindi naman throwing yung mukha ni Elizabeth Oropes. Nakala <laughs> ko glamour-glamour yung trabaho mo dito doon eh. Uh, Sinukotan mo naman ako ng pagkahapang-hapang buhok. Uh, pero ganun kahirap. And, and there's several kubots every now and then in the, in the set. Uh, 
Alam ka na, ayaw mo sabihin yung totoo. <laughs> okay, we learned our lesson on the first one. I mean, um, the first one, we really decided it to be gusto namin, ground, groundbreaking, gano'n, no? But of course, we were, it's the first time we're doing something as complicated as that, no? And we, we, had, we had some mishaps, no? Um, there, we had weight, problem, weight problems with the uh, aswangs, di ba? Because we decided to do entirely all the creatures at the end completely on CGI. This year, we know better. No, I, I think our technology could afford us also the luxury na hindi namin kailangang shoot sa green screen. We shot everything on location, but we adjusted all the locations na hindi siya magmukhang kapareho ng location. So that kung taga doon ka, pag napanong ba yung movie, hindi mo masasabi, ay, labas ng bahay na naging naman yan. But also, we didn't want it to be alienating to everyone. No? So it's a Manila that we only built for Kubot. It's a hyper-real Manila for Kubot. Now, in terms of the Aswangs, we married, hindi na kami puro CGI, because alam namin kung gano'ng kahirap na magbuo ng from zero, from nothing. We married uh, live prosthetics, so all our Aswangs have, have rubber masks, but we all know na hindi na umuubra yung rubbery rubbery prosthetics uh, in this day and age, no? So from that, the CGI develops on it so that you don't really know na may CGI siya. So we're trying to, as much as possible, we're trying to uh, parang itisimula. Anong isimula sa English? Isimula, may tama ba yung word? Subtle. 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 Uh, parang itago. Subtle. Or parang camouflage, what CGI and what's not. So that at the end, you just you, you just follow the story, and you're not you're no longer uh, thinking about ICG. I I don't know. So and and we're pretty proud of it. No, the hair, if you see it, hindi siya hindi siya head and shoulders, ha? Kasi ano ano? Kanta naman mo. Iba ang ibig sabihin dito na ang haba ng hair. Yes. Sorry. Yung sa first, do sa first movie, uh, masyadong organic yung ano mo eh, yung naging approach mo dun sa movie. So ngayon, napansin namin nag-inject ka ng konting sci-fi. Or, ewan ko kasi, napanggit na mayroong weapon smith eh. So, saan kang galing yung idea na yun na inject mo dun sa, dun sa idea, dun sa uh, ngayon, sa I, I I think it's it's all coming from our love for B-movies. Alam mo na, uh, the B-movies have a strong, a strong genre. May excitement, may popcorn, may, may malungkot, may strong family elements. No? Um, so we're putting in, uh, hindi siya weird eh, kasi ang nilalagay namin, the whole idea of Ding Dong having a robot arm is for a hero in the midst of Manila, to be armed with, hindi na, we want to elevate what, what we did in the first one. Na puro natin ko lang siya, ganun-ganun. We, we wanted to, to bring the story elsewhere. Uh, yung, at the same time, mythology ng Aswang, we pushed it even further. Nag-isip ka kami, in this particular film, hindi lang asin tsaka bawang yung kaya. We discovered a new way to to kill an aswang, you're gonna see it. Uh, and testing ground namin si John sa Bayton. <laughs> sa bagong weapon na yun. Uh, all those things, I, I think what we really want is to build on existing mythologies and bring it to a more modern uh, and, and more progressive uh, idea. That's, uh, intentional ba yung kaya na sa character ni Casey na maging parang Konyong aswang. Or nakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
with Casey there, I mean, we're, we're looking at him more um, hip hop, more young, more less, less nagpapaka uh, evil lord. You know? um, I think that gives him uh, a lot more edge no? as a character. Uh, Chaka Kwan Cha. Um, uh, in, 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 in description to kanya? Parang maloko na kwan, walang sinasanto, walang nirespeto. So it, it, it gives a lot of color to his character. Na, uh, of course, yung konyo ni Katie, eh kasi yung amboy. So amboy <laughs> yung aswang na rin. <laughs> Yun din ang kakaiba, di ba? Ang aswang, ang kontrabida dito is aswang na kwanta. Yes. Uh, good evening. Congratulations, Derek. Ma uh, Mami Jo. From last time. Opo. Uh, doon po sa, uh, dito sa bago niyo franchise na now with GMA, uh, pwede niyo po bang ikwento kung, <laughs> kung, kung gaano ka, kakaiba talaga yung, bukod doon sa nag- uh, palit na kayo na binawa sa given CGI, in-incorporate nyo na with uh, prosthetics. Knowing you directly, meron ka parating gusto mong ano eh, ini-experiment. Ano naman yung ini-experiment mo dito? Uh, ito talaga, when, when we decided and we knew we were submitting it to the Metro Manila Film Fest, alam na namin talaga na dapat non-stop, almost adrenaline yung movie. So, in the same way that the first one happened overnight, but the second one only happened three days, for three days, yung kwento. And once it starts, parang siya snowball, na parang non-stop na tuloy-tuloy eh. And I think, of course, Christmas yan, it, it has to be really an exciting, thrilling, entertaining ride. Wala nang, wala nang mga uwi kami, gali kami ginagawa, wala nang mga kwento non-stop na talaga na saya. No? And uh, the, the difficult part is really the balance of it. Kasi dito sa movie, seryoso si Makoy. Isabel Daza is also serious. But when we don't want to inject humor for the sake of humor, so all the humor in the film, nasa kwento talaga. But we also have Jun Sabayton, Ramon, na who injects the humor. You have Joey Marquez. So, ang hirap ng balance. And I think, ang ganda lang, yun yung pinakamahirap no, sa amin. Even kami ni Dong for particular scenes, uh, dito maglalighten up ka ba? Or maging seryoso? I, I, I think, to pull it off is really something that we're proud of. No, yung timpla, yung timpla ng movie. More than just the effects, more than just the one. At the same time, gusto namin talaga makita ang aswang na sa Manila. Kasi sanay tayo lagi po binsa eh. Di ba? Ito, talagang aswang na sa salubo mo, sakit na ang kalsada. So, at least, iba siya, di ba? Yan. Thank you, Dene. That's one. Uh, siguro po, I uh, would like to ask naman the characters, uh, Paano na po ang evolution ng inyong character in this, ano, in this franchise, in this cobot? Magsimula kay Sir June. Sir June. <laughs> If you notice, among them kasi na nandito, si Ding Dong at si Ramon yung nasa itig. But Ramon is coming back as a totally new character. Joey Marquez also. So, uh, so kasi nga namatay siya. <laughs> namatay siya, di ba? Uh, 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 okay, okay. Every movie, bawat franchise pa, patay siya. Hindi ba yung bakit alam. 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 Kasi parang yung first time nila yung experiment si Derek Eric na uh, yung mga sikat sa naitip ng internet ay eh, nilagay niya dun sa mundo ng pelikula. So may Bogart the Explorer, wow. ano si Tamar Bautista, siyempre si Abra, at siyempre hindi mawawala ako. Ang pinakamahalagin. Tsaka ang maganda dito, um, yung Pilipina, no, folklore, eh nilagay natin para, para din malaman din ng mga bata na may iba pang klaseng aswang. Na hindi lang yung manananggal, you know. sa probinsya namin may ganun eh. Diba? May yung buhok para matapos sila. 
at saka magpakamalit. Pero maganda po itong pinigol na ito. Ito yung ano, so ito yung bagong na, panday. Na, so ano nga daw ang karakter ko? Hindi ko na may gumawa ito yung karakter ko, paano rin yun. Napaka-showbiz. Nasalay na ako kanina eh. Just like that, you're just friends. Nga, makikita niyo sa trailer mamaya. Ang ang role ni Jun, ang ganda. Ang ganda talaga. Breakout role talaga to of the century. Saka hindi makokompleto yung pelikula kung wala yung character niya. Very folk. So patay siya. Ano ko rin yun na lang po? So patay siya. We're friends. They're just friends. Professor. Ayun, dito, doon siya. Sa tik-tik na matay nga ako doon. Dito, panoorin nyo na lang kayo kung ano, kung ako kayo na baka mamatay din ako dito. Ano, uh, dito ulit ako uh, taga-hunting ng aswang. Ang saan ko si Bogart Explorer, parang mag-partner ko. Tapos, uh, Sila ni Bogart. Ayun, COVID relief pala kami dito. <laughs> Ayun, so panoorin nyo na lang. Kasi okay, nyo na lang ako yun doon. Para sa mga na mahilig mag-internet. Sabi nga ni Jun Sabayton. Nadinig niyo ba yan? Sabi ni Jun Sabayton, generation po natin ito. Okay. Okay. Makoy! Yes. Si ano talaga si Ramon Bautista. Siya yung katibayan na pag inalingan mo talaga sa una, eh siguradong sigurado kasama ka sa pangalawa. Kahit tamatay na eh. Kahit tamatay na eh. Kasi talagang inalingan talaga na. So, lahat ka ng pressure talagang galingan namin. Lalo na ngayon, franchise na. Hindi lang yung makasama sa susunod. Kaya ako naman, si Makoy, galing dun sa dati, uh, medyo siya yung pinaka may malaking shift ng, ano, eh, ng, ng, uh, ng kanyang uh, character mismo, pati yung outlook niya sa buhay niya. From totally, from being a total jerk, mula sa pagiging seryoso na tao. So, uh, actually, kating-kating ako eh, kasi sabi ko direct, kailan pa lalabas yung, yung Makoy talaga. Pero lalabas talaga, medyo pa-ending eh. Kasi babalik yung tunay niyang pagkatao dun sa susunod ng uh, part, sa part 3. So, suba ako pag I was so eager to go to get back to Makoy sa character, yung kanyang tunay na character. Pero, that was a challenge of the whole film. At the same time, yun yung naging sobra exciting para sa akin. So, it's really something that we can also look forward to yung mismo internal struggle. Kung papaan niya gusto makawala dun sa napaka-boring na state niya para mas makaanda yung story. Remember, after what happened to Damian Pinatayang Aswang, the second we opened the second vegetarian na zima. Ito to hindi hindi ako nagluto ko, nakala niya nagluto ko. Julian, I I think hindi wala na mong pusut kasi hindi lang a bagong character ko ako dito. So ayun po, yeah, wala nashe but. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm really happy that uh, I'm part of this movie, and uh, this is uh, this is an awesome one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, it's really awesome. To those who don't know, she, the, the lady in red, she's Hannah Ledesma. So, ayan, first time you makikilala. So, Hannah, what's your character? What's your role? What is she? What is she? What is your character? Your character? Ayan po, shift sa character, bukod po sa shift sa artista. Actually, hindi character, siya shift ng artista siya. Yun na yun. Yun na po yun. Witty, no? Direct. Natutunto lang po sa kanina. Ano po, I didn't watch the first movie. I didn't watch it. And I guess yung character po ni Sonya ngayon is just really the way for Makoy to transition to what he will be in this movie. So, yun po. Abra. Makalimutan ko yung tanong. Hindi, yung sa kanya wala din shift. Kasi first time yung nalabas yung kala. First time po. Silang dalawa. Silang dalawa ni Julian. And speaking of Julian, I regret to inform him. Very sad to say, she has to shift to another party. For Julian. For Julian, go. Go. Yes. Regarding the theme song yung collaboration niya ni Abra, can you just tell us the story about the collaboration? Actually, I've already told you this one, but I'm just waiting for it. Abra, we're together with Phil Pop. So, we're talking about it and he said, 
gawa tayo ng song or mag-collaborate tayo ng ganyan. So, we go, okay. Okay, I'm down. Tapos, para pinag-usapan namin kung ano yung magandang theme. And then, sinabi niya, na parang, may sinadress siya, sabi niya parang, maganda about sa, sa higher power. And then, parang, nandun na, habang ginagawa natin yung kanta, para doon na pumapasok lahat, uh, yung, yung touch of reality. And, of course, parang, ito rin ay uh, isang uh, eye-opener din para sa maraming tao. And, natutuwa kami kasi, Maraming mga opinions na pumapasok. Baga, actually, maraming mga nagde-debate. Actually, sa school nga eh. Parang isa siya sa mga uh, videos na ginawa ng case study. So, ayun po. Uh, yeah, tsaka it, it really suits the movie. So, ayun po. Nag-swap talaga yun. Kasi ako kaya tahimik yan. Alam niya, nagsusulat na yan ng kanta. Ganyan. Sa isip niya, sa isip niya. Nalang tahimik yan, pero kikita mo yan, nagsusulat na siya. Julian, thank you so much. Thank you, Paul. Salamat.